the believer, the mu'min, sees things different how others see it. It's because this believer frees himself from the slavery of everything and everyone except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he's that true slave to Allah, that worships Allah, only Allah, resorts to Allah, relies on Allah, and turns to Allah, believes in Allah, and at the end of the day, the only Lord that he, is, he believes in is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why he surrenders all matters to Allah azza wa jal. He surrenders every single matter in his life for the sake of Allah. He frees himself from the slavery of everything in this world. And when I talk about the slavery here, I'm not addressing you saying that you're a slave or we are slaves to a Lord beside Allah Azza wa Jal. No. Alhamdulillah. We all believe in Allah and we all worship Allah. We don't believe in a Lord beside Allah. But are we as slaves to someone beside Allah in the sense that sometimes we might favor things over Allah? I'm sorry to say yes. And that's not what I say, but that's even what the Prophet Muhammad says. He says there are different slaves, not in the sense of worshipping, but their minds and hearts are so connected to it, it's like becoming their Lord in their life. And the Prophet ﷺ describes the slave of the dollar, the dinar and the dirham, and the slave of the dunya, and the slave of the disobedience. And that's why you find some people are so attached to matters, materials, creations. So their hearts are attached to the dollar, their hearts are attached to the haram, their hearts are attached to the creation, and they forget the Creator Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants this heart and wants this mind and wants these limbs to fully submit and surrender to Allah in all matters of life. If I want anything, I turn to Allah. If I am in need of anything, I turn to Allah. And everything else in my life is just a mean, just a mean, not an objective. Just a path that I use for the sake of getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.